to the final match of BSL Season 16 Hasu League Group A. It's going to be a tough one between Too Sexy For You and Doodle. Doodle upper left-hand corner has the Peach Protoss, bottom right-hand corner has the Teal Protoss. We have Too Sexy For You. Just noticing that. I wonder if any probes or other units end up tripping on this like unsafe opening uh, metal stuff on the ground. That'd be kind of an odd feature where it's like they walk across and trip over themselves. Maybe that should be like a Carbot animation ad where it doesn't really affect gameplay, but can be kind of a cute thing in the background. Where they trip, but still move at the same speed. Anyway, looks like there's like wires under there or something like that. Like what was going on on this planet? This is on Circuit Breaker, by the way, which I guess it makes sense where there's circuits that are breaking under neglect. What are you doing to whoever built this planet? and covered it in, uh, it's even got these stains. Like, are those grease stains? Whatever. PvP cross position. Uh, we'll see how, and this is on Circuit Breaker, which it has absolutely wide open center groupings where it's gonna come down to Dragoon Micro, in my opinion. Granted, it is possible that someone might go for an earlier Reaver build, but considering how wide open Enga engagement points across the natural expansion are a little rougher, so because you have these bridges, there is a degree of defender's advantage with something like Two Gate Reaver. But once you get midfield, because the map is so wide open, what can you can see here, just having the proper unit positioning can be the difference between victory and defeat. Both players going for the counterclockwise scout. So they should come across to each other's base somewhat dead on. It is going to be a two-gate opener for Too Sexy. That is going to be a challenge at cross positions. We do have the cybernetic score start from Doodle. Let's see if Doodle does, in fact, invest in that preventative first sell it, which should be sufficient. I think that'll be sufficient at cross positions to defend this. Probe making its way across. And if the probe adds a little bit of blockade to slow that zealot down, It'll be all the better. It looks like the Zealot gonna go ahead and try to blockade the ramp to deny information. Uh, not quite able to though. So double gateway's been spotted. And that's also delayed time for that Zealot to make movements. Wonder if there's ever been a gas steal PVP. <laughs> you see Sexy is thinking about it. So he's like, uh, there might be a gas steal. So it goes up. That indicates it'll probably just be three Zealots to start. Actual cancellation of the first Zealot and a Dragoon being built instead. No, never mind. There's the Zealot chasing down the probe. I was like, did that get... Oh, anyway. So initial Dragoon being built. The Zealot's making the way across. And now it's going to be up to Sexy to get into that probe line and wreak some havoc. Otherwise, might end up behind in the mid game. But more times than not, with a decent amount of micro, you can just shove your way in and get some probe kills. The Zealot making its way, or the Dragoon making its way down. Gonna get as much damage, able to kill that probe as it might have wanted to join the fray. Second Dragoon about halfway finished, so it might even be two Dragoons here. Yeah, I think at cross positions it was just a lot to ask. We'll see though, it's not over yet. No shield battery or anything else required. Actually, not even a second gateway at the cross positions. The Zelts have been, two of the Zelts have been fairly softened up, trying to push through. The Zelts now holding the high ground. And now, yeah, they're just outnumbered and out firepowered. So they're gonna get wiped out. Doodle maintains the overall lead of workers. Well, is he, okay, there he goes. Gonna have range much, much earlier. Well, not too much earlier, but he's gonna have a superior Dragoon count. I don't know that he's really gonna press this advantage, but should be able to take his natural more comfortably Dropping, oh, so going one gate robotics with a second gate to follow. Interesting. So maybe wanting to follow this up with a degree of aggression rather than going for a Nexus grab. And I'm wondering if he wants to go ahead and try to use his Reaver to bully out towards that natural expansion and deny a base to Too Sexy and try to take the match from there. Or if he just wants to straight up bowl him over. I would be a little bit surprised if he follow, especially with the taking out the Zelts, if he goes two gate obs, he might want to, he could be concerned knowing that 
sometimes the Protoss response in a follow-up is to just drop the Citadel of Adun and play from there. Supply count's actually in Sexy's favor at the end of all this because of that additional gateway. But behind in tech, we are seeing an observatory. So observatory instead of uh, Reaver tech to start. Yeah, respecting the Dark Templar follow-up, it looks like. Robotics facility also being placed. It's going to be much, much later. But the way this plays out, Sexy might be able to go ahead and grab his natural expansion and potentially defend it before Doodle. Dragoons marching the way across. They will meet an even count. Now here is the troublesome engagement point is getting across these bridges. Doodle currently though, seeding the bridge position. So it is possible that Sexy is going to be able to move out. No, nope. okay, now a single Dragoon moving forward. Spots the Dragoon forces coming in. Eats some fire on his end. Re-engaging. Six versus five, but creating a bit of denial on the bases. Observer making its way out. We do have that Reaver potentially as a follow-up, but a second Observer being constructed. Nexus planting. We do have enough resources for Sexy to grab the Nexus, and it looks like he was stalking to do so, but he's floating a lot of minerals here, which in a heads-up match like this is very, very dangerous. And I haven't seen him tack on a third gateway or anything additional. Doodle, a little bit behind in the worker count here, but is going to be able to get this Nexus up much more rapidly. It's going to have that Reaver much more rapidly. And with that Reaver along this ramp position out so much sooner, as that robotic support may not even finished for Too Sexy. And I, this is the other issue, is his Doodle scouting this now. So he's going to be able to go up. Yeah, seize the Observer spawn is going to be able to trail down and see that the robotic support bay is just now warping in. The Dragoon's going to try to chase that observer down, but it's going to go ahead and exit. So Doodle now knows he has the Nexus up earlier. He's got the tech advantage, although it's still behind a little bit on the workers, but kind of being negated because of the mineral floating. Sexy just now adding that third gateway. Probe Saturate that natural expansion. Let's see if Doodle Tech's on a little bit of additional tech himself. Is actually going for shuttle speed, interestingly enough, which leads me to believe he is going to plan for some aggression. The Observer sneaking right back in is going to be, well, is he going to move forward and see the four gate follow up? Trouble for Doodle if he doesn't add some additional tech himself. There's the third gateway, there's the fourth. So he's got a Reaver out. He's got a second Reaver on the way. Is a little bit behind in the supply count, which means the army's a little bit larger on the opposite side, but there's a missing shuttle, superior amount of Reavers, and a few more Dragoons. And Sexy moving out, dropping a pile, and I think that's just to spot incoming shuttles. The Observer picked off to the corner. Dragoon's got a lot of kills under his belt right there. With that shuttle speed, going to see some harassments. Oh man, Scarab damage upgrade as well. So moving into the main, there are pylons to spot that incoming shuttle. It's holding to the six o'clock and it looks like Doodle wants to create a distractionary attack potentially. Probe just missing these Dragoons. This probe is too, oh, I think he was hoping to drop a pylon here to spot shuttles making their way. Okay, the shuttle going across. It doesn't look like Sexy spotted it. He's moving out to engage the Dragoon army, maybe, but has missed the Reaver wiping out probes in his main. Still hasn't responded. Now has a pull, at least. Looks like that follow-up's going to be a dud, but that Reaver can easily, with shuttle speed, move back around. High ground advantage for Doodle, but he's got an in inferior attack force on that edge. And that shuttle should be able to rejoin that attack force of doodles. And again, maybe bully one of these positions. Sexy looks like he's staging up to go ahead and grab a quick third behind this. Down a decent amount of supply. More reinforcements making their way out. Two defensive reavers. Just in case that army somehow slipped by. It looks like that shuttle wants to take another angle on the natural with the distractionary attack near that third. Pecking away at that high ground. 
Let's see if Sexy is going to catch the response. No, does not see it. The Zealots land. So more probes now in flight. The Reaver matching their positioning, however. And honestly, a lot of damage done. But, oof. Sexy's lucky it was not worse. Reaver under fire. More probes getting obliterated. Nearly double the worker count now for Doodle as he loses that Reaver, which honestly he could afford to. Now, Doodle's in a position where he could grab a fourth without too much trouble. Looks like he's going to wipe out some pylons maybe at the three o'clock. Sexy moving out a sizable army. Looks like he wants to maybe go all in. Recognizing how limited his troop count is, this could create a situation where Doodle, as he's sacrificing, it looks like three Dragoons early. Oh, is this going to turn into a base race? All right. How many Reavers and Shuttles do we have here? We got three Reavers at the natural, and this bridge is going to make it a challenge if the Reavers could get in position. So while that's happening, yeah, you just have absolute chaos at the natural. I think this is easily going to be in Doodle's favor. Yeah, just trying to breach this with the pummeling. And keep in mind, the Scarab, I believe the upgrade is finished. Yeah. So they hit even harder. So three Reavers here at the natural. 40 supply lead for Doodle overall. A lot of his troops aren't engaging. Reinforcements coming across, although some of them look like they're misrallied and just eating free damage. No additional Reavers left. 14 workers left for Sexy, but Doodle drawing his attack forces back to hold off Sexy's forces at his main. So where it would have been... Okay, so he's just going to split off a few troops now that he's destroyed that natural expansion. I thought if it was just turning into pure base race, that would have been it. Still might be okay, though. So drawing the troops back, he's going to have to walk up his own ramp to deal with what's left, the probes engaging across the Dragoon lines. Only nine probes left, so this is all in for Sexy. Sexy actually pulling his probes to fight on the front as well. A Dragoon pinned against the edge by the Dragoons and the probes gets wiped out immediately. All Doodle has to do is keep spawning troops and stay alive, and he should win this. Dude, how many kills do we have amongst these probes? There's GG. Crazy ender, but Doodle takes game one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, appreciate a like and a subscribe and sharing with some friends to spread the StarCraft cause. Appreciate all y'all. Thank you for listening.